Hi everyone. I want to talk to you today. I was uh, I received a hair tool in the mail, and I'm really excited because I never. Um, I only have really, you know, I've got a straightener, I've got a blow dryer, and I got a curling iron. You know, the basics and everything. So I never really expected to get this hair tool that I'm about to talk about. I was contacted by a beauty shop online. They are a one-stop shop for everything beauty. They've got cosmetics, they've got hair tools, they've got nail polishes, they've got um, everything um, that you could purchase all at once and it's all discount prices so the website is really cool so be sure to go check them out but um, they actually sent me the um, what is it hot tools professional barrel waver oh my god I have seen this before in so many um, so many uh, you know, salon, not salon, uh, beauty supply stores and everything. And I've been curious about it, but I have never wanted to try it because I just, I wasn't sure how it would work or anything, but they actually offered to send this to me. So I'm really grateful. So thank you so much because I am actually going to try it for you on camera right now, um, you know, to see if I like it. I have very thick hair. You know, you may not be able to see it in this video right now, but um, in my past videos or my past photos, um, I've got very big curly hair and sometimes instead of going completely curly I like just doing a soft wave and it's kind of hard for me to achieve that in a you know quick time anyway because you know if I do want to actually get a nice wave I usually have to you know prepare myself like maybe an hour and a half advance I need to start because I really don't like going fast because I'm not that good at it so I need to take my time so I really don't do that that much um, because it just it just takes too much time to do so that's why I'm going to try this today hopefully this works um, I'm looking forward to it so um, yeah so let's get started let me just say that if I don't like this product that does not reflect my views on beauty shop online you know they didn't manufacture the product this is by hot tools professional um, so just because I don't like it doesn't mean that I don't like the website the website is still pretty cool they still have a lot of stuff to choose from so um, it does it still does does not reflect my feelings towards the website so I just wanted to say that before I get into reviewing this product so okay here we go I just opened the product you've got the wire right here and then you have the um, three barrel tool this is pretty cool you've got the two gold barrels right here and then you've got one that's kind of right here that kind of clamps in the middle of your hair um, it's it's a rubberized handle so it's easy to grip which is nice this rotates right here the um, the plug, uh, the wire, whatever you call it. So that's nice. I have, my curling iron has that, and it's just it's so much more convenient because it doesn't, you know, you don't have to move in awkward positions to kind of get your hair in the right place. Um, on off button right here. Um, over here you've got oh you've got a couple of high settings which is nice. You've got low to hot, you know, one through ten, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, so I'm going to go extra hot because my hair is really thick, so it's going to probably need that, that extra heat. If you have thin hair, I recommend that you go to obviously one of the lower settings so you don't completely burn it. So I'm going to plug it in right now just to see how fast it heats up. So, um, so let's try that right now. Hello. Okay, no need to be confused. It is a different day. Um, the video that I recorded before this one, I started the whole thing, um, probably got about halfway through, and then I got a phone call, got sidetracked, and had to go to move on to something else. So I figured I would just start over again and... Um, and, uh, you know, there were some things in my last video that when I was doing it, there are some things that I would actually like to tell you to do, um, you know, before actually jumping into this. First of all, right now, my hair, um, you know, it's straightened and everything, but I didn't uh, put a straightener to it. Um, I think that it wasn't working as well for me at first because, um, when I was doing it, I straightened my hair hours before because of work and everything. Um, you know, so uh, I, I didn't straighten it. I think that without the straightener, um, that this is going to work a lot better. And also, uh, I would recommend using a hairspray. At first, I didn't do that either. I don't know why. I guess I just didn't want it to get too messy or anything. But I am going to use a hairspray. I'm going to be using Tresemme uh, Tress 2 Spray Extra Hold. This is my favorite hairspray. It has been for many years. And uh, we're going to use this one today. So, uh, 
let's get into this right now. Um, I'm going to pull up my hair. I'm just going to... I have a mirror right here, so if you see me looking over there, that's why. Okay, so you're just going to take a little bit of that hair, put it up with a clip, and just make sure that like all the knots are out of it. I'm going to be using my Revlon uh, paddle brush. I love that brush. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some hair it's going to take a little bit try not to do a lot because i have well if you have thinner hair you might be able to get away with it a little more to do larger pieces at a time but because my hair is so thick i think that um that it may not necessarily work if i use bigger pieces so um you know be sure to just use little pieces of hair if you hear a little crying in the background it's just my dog um there's someone mowing the lawn and she's like anxious to go see who it is so just put a little bit of hairspray and then you're just going to just take it and I'm going to probably do it like an inch away from my, from my head and then just hold it there. I would say maybe like 10 or 15 seconds for people that have uh, thinner hair and then maybe 20 seconds for those with thicker hair between 20 and 25 which makes it, you know, take a little longer but it, it's worth a shot. I don't know how long I've been going for, but. Okay, I'm just gonna lift. And you're just gonna go back down. And the curl actually looks pretty nice. I don't know how well you could see that. I'll get a little closer. But it's just got a very nice wave to it. And don't worry, I won't show you the entire head because it will take a while. And there you go right there. It um, Once I'm done, I will kind of brush it out with my fingers a little bit, but I don't want to do that yet. Um, you know, I'd rather do that at the end. So let's move on to another strand and see how this goes. Take it. Oops. I probably... Um, I would probably still recommend for a wave using a curling iron. This is pretty cool, but um, it, it all kind of depends what look you're going for. Um, I think with this one, you may be able to do those really nice, um, like old-fashioned Hollywood looks. I'll find a picture and put it on my blog just to show you what I'm talking about, but I think like just using this and then making the front like look kind of wavy, I think that it might look really good. And I think that using this might make the look, um, make you accomplish the look a little easier. And there you have that one. Not bad, it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna keep going. I'll show you when I'm halfway through and uh, we'll continue from there. Okay, so it looks like I'm about halfway through and so far, so good. Um, I mean, you could see the curl, well, the waves more so. I wouldn't say so much curls, but I would see the waves. When you're doing it, and I'm not sure if this is common sense or not, but when, when you're spraying your hair, try not to get the ends because on this side, you could just see that when I did it, it's just, I mean, my hair is kind of, my hair is very thick, very dry since I always, um, uh, you know, so I always use hot irons and blow dryers. I mean, I should have probably used a heat protectant before I started doing this because I have like two of them, but it's one of those products that I always forget to use. Like there's always that one product for everyone that you just kind of forget that you have and that's always the one. Like I'll be finished with like straightening my hair and I'll be like, damn, I forgot to do the, you know, the stupid heat protectant again. But so far this is pretty good. I'm liking this. I mean, it's just kind of a fun, different look. Also, what I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video is how quickly that these, this heats up. I would probably plug it in for my hair. I would probably plug it in and leave it for about like 10 minutes before I actually do it. However, it does heat up under five. And the reason I'd leave it for 10 minutes is just because I need mine like extra, extra hot. 
um, just to work with my hair. But um, other than that, if you have normal hair, if you have thinner hair, you know, you could do it in under five minutes, it'll heat up. You start kind of seeing the steam build up in, um, you know, rather quickly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm almost done with this piece. And there you go. And there you go. And there's my phone. But that's good because I was going to cut anyway. So I'll be back when my hair is fuller. Okay, everyone. I am on my last strand. It's a very tiny strand. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting to do this. I don't think it looks bad. I'm going to see how it looks once I kind of rough, you know, play with it a little bit. And then we'll see how it looks. So give me one sec. Okay. Here I go. And then I'm just going to... Oh. That actually doesn't look so bad. I think I kind of like it once it's like that. I think I could use a little more practice. And let's just spray it a little bit. So, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Um, there are some pieces, like right here, it's a little more like frizzier than other pieces. But other than that, I think the style is kind of cool. And with a little bit of practice, I think I might be able to get it. And before when I was talking about like an old-fashioned hairdo, I was talking about, um, what I was thinking about was actually Gwen Stefani from The Aviator. And I'll show you the picture right there. Um, as you can see, she's kind of got that wave right in the front, and I think that with this um, this uh, tool, you might be able to accomplish that look somehow, like in the front, if you were to kind of part it the certain way. I'm not too good with hair. I kind of, I really don't have a lot of patience for it. Um, that's why in the morning I like kind of doing something really quick, like either curling it or just straighten it real quick. I, it's rare that I take a curling iron and do that. I did that for like a week once, and I was exhausted by the time I got to work. So, um... So, there you have it. I think it looks okay. There you go. The Professional Hot Tools 3 Barrel Waver. And, uh, and there you go. I will put some pictures and links um, on where to get this tool in my blog. So, be sure to go check out HelloMissNikki.com. Follow me on Twitter at Hello Miss Nikki. Find me on Facebook, Instagram. I say it all the time. I'm everywhere. So be sure to go look for me. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.